Hey, yeah, so guys, you guys are welcome back again. You are welcome to my channel once again. So, I'm here on this site today. So, basically, I was just invited to carry out an as built survey of this site. So, I want to do the I want to carry out the as built survey on this site. So, but what I want to be using today is I want to use something different, something different from what I've been doing. So I want to use angle and distance mode instead of you know I've been using coordinate all this while. So today I want to use angle and distance measurements. Yeah. So that's what I want to be using today. It's going to be different from what I've been doing. So instead of coordinate mode. So I want to use something different. So that will be angle and distance mode. So I'm going to take you guys through on how I'm going to do it. So I'm just working out the site and see how it looks like. See how I'm going to plan myself on getting the work done. So I'm just doing the recognized size of, of the site. I've done this sketch already. So I'm trying to go through again and see how I will plan myself more better. <sighs> okay. So let's go, let's go, let's go to the instrument station. So this type of um, survey, you know, I said is um, angle and distance mode. So if you are going to do, if you will be doing something like that with your total station, so at least you need minimum of two points. You know, this type of survey, you don't have, a, you don't have a, a perfectly permanent established control, like maybe third order control that you can use. So we don't have that but what i'm going to do is i'm going to establish two points you can see this is my backside point and you can see my occupy station so i've established those two points temporarily i've established those two points so what i'm going to do next is to make sure i use my handed gps to pick those two locations i'll use my handed gps to pick those two locations because whenever i want to do the plotting on how to cut so i'll be able to georeference it at least a bit but not perfectly georeferenced so I'm going to pick, I've picked the value of this point with my handed GPS and the value of that point, of that uh, occupied station. So, let me quickly take you guys through so that I won't take much of your time. So, the instrument is set. Okay. So, you know, I said I've created two temporary points and I've used my handed GPS to pick the two value of the two points. So I can use that at least to do some um, sort of orientation, but you know it's not perfect since it's under GPS. It's not differential GPS that can give us a perfect, um, a perfect value for 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 a for a point. So let me quickly take you guys through. So my instrument is set. Let me check again. So you guys can see. So my instrument is set. Okay. So now once it is angle and distance mode. There's something we call O set, that is zero set. There's something we call zero set. So that zero set means wherever you bisect your instruments. For, for me now, I want to use this, my backside point at my zero set. So I'm going to bisect the, 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 the prism from here. So I'm going to bisect my prism from here. So I've bisect the prism. I want to clear my focus. So I've cleared my focus. So let me show you guys. Let me show you. Can you guys see it? Yeah, so that's it. I'm trying to make it more hard. So can you see it? So I've bisect my focus. So now. You can see the zero set. Let me show you. That is it on F2. You can see F2. F2 is zero set. So that zero set means wherever you bisect the instrument, that is where the instrument will start reading is a, uh, its zero angle. So clockwisely. Do you get what I'm saying? Since we are using angle and distance. So I want the instrument, the total station to start is its zero degree from that backside point. So that's what it means by a zero set. So whenever you see zero set, it means you want to bisect your instrument to start reading its zero degree from that point clockwisely. So any angle you are picking, as you are rotating it, is going to be changing the, the bearing, it's going to be changing the angle for you. So that is, that is one thing about angle and distance mode. So I've already bisect my instrument to the prism, I've locked it, so I'll press zero set, zero set. Now we're saying 
horizontal angle zero set so i'll press yes that means i want i want that position that spot as my back side as my zero set so i'll press yes so you can see if you look at it very well, you can see vertical is 89.5605. Then horizontal readings is what? 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. You can see it now. So it's perfectly on 0, 0. That means the instrument is about to start. It's, it's reading from that position. It's 0 degree. So I just want to measure and see the distance on that spot. So I press distance. So I press distance. Then I'll press measure. Measure. Okay. Is not measuring. I think is is the instrument is at reflectorless mode. Let me see how we change the settings. Let me change the settings. You go to star. Then you come to uh, you can see it. reflector is at non prism. So I will change it to prism. So it's already at prism now. So I can continue escape. So now let me measure again. Measure. You can see. So I have horizontal readings is what 50, 0, 0 degree okay it has changed to 359 degree 59 minutes 55 seconds so that's that's what we are saying so sometimes to still go back to the zero zero degree it's fluctuating like that so i will write that down at my my back side is what my back side is what zero zero degree zero zero minutes zero zero seconds then my distance is 16.891 that's my distance horizontal distance that's hd 16.891 16.891 so that's my backside so as i'm picking every other point i will be putting it down like that because it's angle and distance so i'm not saving it on the instrument so you can let me show you i would i want to turn it to the other point so let me turn it to to this wall fence to the edge of this wall fence so guys i'm I'm only doing this on my own, so I want to be using reflectorless mode to do to carry out my observation. I want to use reflectorless mode to carry out all my observation. So because I'm the only one here, so those are the times sometimes I used to try to test my ability. So let me see, I'm there. So I've by set the, the the edge of the fence. So I want to change it back to non prism. So I'll press star again, then press this forward for this reflector prism i'll press this arrow that is showing forward non-prism so it's at non-prism now then we are going to go so press escape so it has changed it so you can see if you look at it the degree has also changed from clockwisely the degree of this warfare is what 2.204 degree 33 minutes 15 seconds so that's the degree for that wall fence so as you keep rotating it keep picking every point that you want to observe so it's going to be changing the the the, the angle for you so as you are turning it make sure you are putting it down the angle and distance make sure we are writing it that way i'm doing now so let me observe this one and show you guys again so i'll press measure since it's at reflectorless mode now so if you press measure it's definitely going to measure it for you So you can see 204 degree 33 minute 20 seconds so we have horizontal distance is what 6.925 so i'm going to write that down as well 204 33 15 that is wall fence i will name that as wall fence 204 33 15. so what's my distance my distance is 6.925 that's my distance 6.925 so that's how i keep repeating it the process for every other spot sorry okay okay i'm done so guys i'll see you later that's how i get it done so if you have any questions make sure you drop it in my comment box i will definitely attend to them so guys um, okay so i'll see you guys later i'll see you later so if you have any question make sure you drop it in the comment box 
and I'll definitely do a video on how I'll do the plotting on, on my how to card software. So guys, I'll see you later. Bye.